Rome isn't just home to the Vatican. It's also a city known for its archaeological treasures. Lauren Ashburn recently spoke to one professor who's leading an archaeological dig in an ancient city. Professor Nick Terranato of Roman Studies at the University of Michigan and the director of the Gabby Project joins us from Rome. Welcome to the program. Thank you for having me. What is the Gabby Project and what have you found? So the Gabby Project aims at investigating a city that is just outside Rome and that is a great example of how Roman urbanism developed. So for the last 10 years, I've taken over 40 undergraduates from my university and other universities to dig in the sun. <laughs> Which is, a, a, that is a, a quite a task to have to do that. Our, one, our producers from the university, or from Michigan, the Michigan area, our executive producer is a, a classics study major, and so we have no choice but to talk to you about your time in the hot sun. But do tell me right now, what else has been impacted in Rome by these archaeological digs? Is it taking a long time? Yes, well, Rome has always had this uh, conundrum that on the one hand you want to develop the city, the city wants to develop its infrastructure, and it also wants to preserve its unique heritage. So whenever you're trying to build a subway line or anything really, uh, you have to reconcile the various needs and very often uh, you know, in building a subway stop, uh, they, uh, they impact archaeology and they have to, uh, everything grinds to a halt, people get unhappy, and, you know, some sort of a resolution needs to be found. Well, what do you think that resolution should be? Well, um, so um, a lot can be done in terms of what we call preventative archaeology. So before you actually start digging, uh, you can do a number of tests, uh, including, for instance, ground penetrating radar, and uh, there is a whole array of uh, new techniques that will allow uh, that can allow you to figure out what's under the, the soil before you start uh, excavating, which means that you can try to avoid it. Maybe build a subway station somewhere else, you know, a little off to one side, um, or you can be in any case prepared. Uh, the problem is that when you have, um, you know, everything is in full swing, it's very hard to to stop for archaeology. Even though, as an archaeologist, you think we should. Well, I think that some kind of, you know, win-win uh, solution must be found because, after all, archaeology is one of the things that, uh, you know, makes people come to this city. And, you know, it's a big piece of the economy of Rome is people coming to see its archaeology. So we have to preserve it. I'm one of those people. So thank you so much for, uh, for your role in doing what you can to, to preserve uh, the heritage. Professor Nick Terranato, Roman Studies at the University of Michigan.